Hello and welcome to a very special something different everybody. I was uh, in between falling asleep on a workout bike and failing to fix a PlayStation 5 controller. I was planning on doing a uh, video called of Canon and Legal Canon where I was going to go into the differences between those. The fact that Canon is what the fans recognize and will pay for and the Legal Canon being what the IP holder decides is going to be what is and what isn't. And then the whole Acolyte thing started going off. And it reminded me of Star Trek Discovery, Warhammer, and on and on and on down that list. And the typical blame game. And the whole, it's, X is failing and it's your fault. You are actually the problem with this because you and your critical thinking or, you know, not enjoying my, uh, you know, wood pulp ice cream you were obviously the problem with no one enjoying the ice cream said the person screaming at the top of their lungs and i thought hey you know what who is a good example of someone that was the end goal of how they would like to treat you as a customer and i thought hey ed pisker yeah remember him you might not know who he is in comics I, he was a guy that a certain group of people who are very intolerant of being criticized and very, very mediocre in talent, uh, drove to um, end his Minecraft session, let's say that. And that's kind of the thing. When they start blaming you, it's because they hate you. They don't want to recognize their own personal responsibilities and their failures and go, well, you know, maybe we need to change course, maybe we need to refocus, and maybe we need to bring the customers something they want to pay for. Nope. Let's uh, demonize them and try to push as many of them out, make them as miserable as we can, and go from there. And, well, hey, if you can get some people to end their Minecraft sessions early, They'd be more than happy with that. And I think that he represents what a lot of places would be really, really happy with if it happened to uh, more folks. And I can't find that but anything but a little bit awful. So, in this regard, I think the inverse not uh, article is a perfect illustration of this contempt and hatred for the audience and desire to blame them for their own failings and honestly if you could find a collection of more mundane or why are these people employed in making money well you'd be hard pressed then to find then looking at the inverse <laughs> uh, but hey you know when your product is, hey, look, we went to Fang early because we say good thing about it. We're bought out. It's okay. Don't attack product. Defend mega corporation. What can you really say? But I do think that this article hits the nail on the head. And that's how they legitimately view this whole situation you are the person ruining their star wars how dare you horrible bad person if you would just shut up and go away everything would be wonderful but that's not how life works and well they're a little angry about that but why okay well besides the fact they're defending their access which is the only thing they actually have to sell you as an audience because lord knows no one's looking them up to uh, read thought-provoking pieces or anything on, well, basically anything of actual importance. But it's also meant to protect the people that they politically agree with. The people at the top, the people who are pushing these things. I mean, nobody in their right mind would literally hire Leslie Headland who's the, uh, let's just say, the assistant to a man with some proclivities towards women. Um, nor would most people want any of this kind of garbage to be what they produce. But hey, that's where we are right now. 
we are dealing with people who are protecting themselves. And when you protect yourself, you wish ill upon those who disagree with you. And that's kind of where we are. You are looking at the product of mediocre, boring people. Kathleen Kennedy, if she could have only gotten Indiana Jones to ride off in the sunset with a dog, and not the lady, everyone would have just seen her pure mastery and brilliance as a creator. I mean, as long as you don't let, watch that last Indiana Jones, am I right? Um, but this is what happens when you have people who have no right to really be in control of the products they are, who do not have the talent to handle it, and know, and they know it. They know they're not that good. They know they're not that creative. But they know they have it and you don't. And therefore, they want to blame you. It's not your fault for what you like and don't like. It's only your fault if you somehow had managed to gain the seeds of power through, uh, I don't know, the lasso of deception or some bullshit like they came up with in Wonder Woman. You don't have control of it. You have only control of yourself and what you enjoy and you don't enjoy. And if you honestly don't like something and you tell someone and they can't handle that you have an opinion other than them, that's generally someone who's not going to be looking out for your best. And I think that's where we kind of are. So, no, it's not your fault. It's only the fault of the people who created the thing, especially if they don't have the ability to be humble. A lot of this would go under the bridge if a lot of these people acted like the creator of the room and said, oh, well, you know... Eh, it was always meant to be a comedy, a dark comedy. And then lean into it. So bad it's good sells. You never know. But these people aren't very humble. And they're not very intelligent. And they will sit there and they will simply screech at you. Because it's about protecting themselves, their position, their access, and the money they make from it. Because when you get put into a position where you simply get things, this is what you get. Like, for example, I don't like this show. I think it's trash. Do I hate every single thing and hate these people because of who they are? Not really. I don't trust a woman who um, worked very close with Mr. Harvey Weinstein. But I do like the Squid Game as actor. I think he puts in a good effort. I think that the show underserves him. And I'd like to see what he does in the future. Because he's got some acting chops. I just, I, I look at the quality of the show, but that's the thing. They're not having any legitimate argument with you. And that is a tactic of someone who understands what they are providing is subpar. And they are trying to push the failure of the thing onto you. So it's like an abusive relationship. Everyone loves those, don't they? Where, you know, everything's actually your fault, even though it was mine, but it's your fault because I don't want to accept my responsibility. And this is why we can look at things like the inverse article. And you can see it for what it is. I don't get angry at this. I go, okay, I see where your bread's buttered. How lovely. Or you can go over and you can look at the Rotten Tomato score. 85% fresh by people who got early access to it. Ooh, wow. And hey, if you didn't, good for you if you enjoyed it. At least somebody enjoyed it. But I think the audience score is the one I would actually pay attention to. They're the people paying for it. Why would you disregard that one and go, those people are a bunch of bigots and evil and they should be blamed for the failure of a show? The failure of a show is because one, it can't grow or attract an audience, it's bad. It, it, it's, it's not the audience's fault. The audience isn't supposed to have the odious put on them. It's on the creators. You obviously didn't create something that was worth watching or attracted people to watch it. But no, let's blame people. Why? Because the people at the top aren't interested in ex assuming blame for their failures, which is exactly what it is. It's an abusive relationship where they expect you to assume the blame. Has anyone been fired for making the High Republic multimedia thing that completely bombed? No, but it led to this with another giant failure. Well, 
I think that explains everything. This is someone angry and unwilling to adapt to reality, trying to say, no, 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 it's you, it's you. And the problem they're having is, like all bad relationships, the other person's walking away and they don't care anymore, and they're even angrier about that. So, sorry about this. I will be putting out uh, next week, if I can get everything together, my canon versus legal canon video. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.